Good day. Have you ever needed to work on a Windows machine uh, using the uh, root administrator account and found that you don't have the password? Well, that's annoying. In my case, I needed the administrator, local administrator account uh, to sign in and add a machine back to a domain that had been booted off the domain. I didn't have that code anymore. So what do you do? Well, it turns out not quite as challenging as you might think. Uh, in the past, we have used tools like Peter Nordel Higgins, uh, change password, uh, tool password reset tool, which is a nice little uh, window. Well, it's a nice little Linux tool that you boot up off of a DVD and you tell it to clear the password and you're on your way. The problem with that is it doesn't re doesn't work very well in the most recent versions of Windows 10. That's about 2016 or so. It hasn't been updated since 2014, so it gives you a pretty good idea of where it is. Another tool we used to like, uh, which you might have heard of, is Offcrack. So that's O-P-H-C-R-A-C-K. And the problem with that is it doesn't even try Windows 10 passwords. So we've moved on to this tool from LazSoft. Let's just go back to the home page here, um, uh, which is wonderful. So uh, what you do is you go to download and there is the LazSoft recovery suite. And there's a home edition and a pro edition primarily. What's the difference between them you ask? Good question. Well, here it is. The short version is that the home version is for free and is licensed for home users. The corporate version is professional and it's a big 30 bucks apparently. By the way, I have nothing to do with these people. I've never even sent a help desk ticket into them. So no kickbacks here. There's just genuinely honest, uh, uh, you know, information from me. Um, so spend the 30 bucks if uh, you are using this in the company because this is how vendors make their money and this is how these tools come to be. So uh, the second big and the second uh, feature that you will miss in the home edition that is, it, that is in the professional edition is the ability to set a password. In the home edition, you can only clear the password. It just sets it to null. In the professional edition, you can set a password. However, in the home edition, don't care. I clear the password, I log in, I set the password. Pretty easy. So uh, for the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to use the free version. So I'm just going to click download and I'm going to download and install it. I'm not going to make you wait and watch that. I already have it installed. Here it is. Now, uh, when this comes up by default, it comes up as same as this computer. So th by the way, there's just a couple of little things you need to do to uh, get this to work for you. Uh, same as this computer um, is what this comes up with by default. I found it gets it wrong. So I just manually select Windows 10 64-bit, which unless you're living in the dark ages is what yours is too. So uh, we'll go through options, although there's nothing to change here. So you can see them, but there's nothing there. You just leave them at default and you click next. Now. I have a DVD plugged in, but it's not going to find it. I don't know why that is. Uh, don't really care uh, because I'm not going to use it. Um, I've also tried creating a USB stick. It doesn't work very well. Um, it just simply, it, it runs through and it just doesn't seem to create it. So what I do is I download the ISO and uh, that takes a minute or so. Let's start that. And uh, what it will do is it'll download a 300 meg uh, ISO. And for those of you who don't know what an ISO is, it's just a, um, Think of it as a, as a zip file. Uh, it's a way to uh, compress, but it actually doesn't compress. It's one of the issues with it. And I, it's, uh, it's a way to pull a bunch of files together into a single file and distribute it. And uh, that's the International Standards Organization standard. So hence ISO. Okay, not important. Well, we're going to speed through this. So you don't have to sit and watch this, but this will take a few minutes to create the ISO, the ISO. And then you've got to either burn it to a DVD, which is very easy to do, or or have it run from a bootable, and that's a big word, bootable, memory stick. So let's click OK here and clear that out. We're now done. So if you have a DVD, you can simply find your ISO and you can burn it. On most machines that have a DVD, the burning software is built in, so you can simply right click on it and it's like burn DVD or something like that. This machine doesn't have it, uh, so uh, we'll have to go a different way if we wanted a DVD. I've already burned the DVD, by the way, to prove that it works. Uh, but for the sake of argument, most people are going to want a um, USB stick. So here's what we've come up with. I've plugged in a brand new Kingston Traveler. It doesn't make any difference. Just a, a small USB stick. It's only 300 megs, so pretty much any USB stick you have will work. So there are lots of ways to make a USB stick bootable. Um, there are lots of different tools. The one I like to use is RM Prep USB. You can just Google and download it. And if you do, it'll come up like this. Let's get our prep download. There it is. Click on. 
There it is, and then just download it. So I'm not gonna bother to show you that because I think we all know how to do that and simply run it. Uh, you need to actually click on the drive. In this case, I've got a uh, 30 gig, a 32 gig Kingston Traveler, but anyone will do, click on that. Uh, set it to FAT32, uh, make sure boot is the hard drive is set. Uh, then point, you can click choose source and then point to your ISO and then click prepare drive and it's gonna say, hey, we're gonna wipe it out. Yep, there we go, we're gonna wipe it out, it's going. And this won't take that long because it's only about 300 meg, but it will take a minute. Yes, so just say yes to these. Just leave it at the defaults, click OK. And there we go, it's finished. Now we can take the USB stick, plug it into a computer, and we can boot from it. And that is where we get to clear the password. So then you can log in and solve your problem. Let's get to that right now. All right, so we take our USB stick, we plug it into any of the USB ports. There we go, we power it up. And in this case, it's a Dell, so I'm going to press F12 to have it give me the boot options. You may have to go in and play around with your BIOS to get it to uh, do what you want to do, but in my case, uh, that's where you go. Now, I, there it is, UFDI, Kingston Data Traveler, that's that guy right there. Let's power it up. And it will load... There we go. Now uh, with this version, I can reset the Windows password next. And uh, this is the free edition. If you're using this for commercial use, how about you pay? Don't be a dirtbag. So yes, I'll say there we go. And uh, yep, this is all correct. And it brings up the various accounts. Now I created an account uh, called UR Tech, as you saw. And uh, I'm going to go, it's an administrator and the password is not blank, but it's going to be. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to click next. And we're going to click Reset Unlock. Passwords Unlock. There we go. Finish. Here I'm going to select Shutdown. And yes, I do want to save that data. And now I'll pull the USB stick out. I'll power up. And now the UR Tech account that I supposedly forgot the username or the password to will have a blank password. And I'll be able to get on this machine, which is fantastic. Okay, so up it goes, and I have the password. I don't have the password. Oh no, what do I do? Well, I can go to this UR Tech account, and I can click sign in. No, I could have reset the X account. I'm just, I reset the UR Tech account just to show you. Look at that. Bingo. All right, so I'll accept. Here we go. Now, if I needed to join this to a domain, uh, I could, or rejoin it to the domain, I could simply go to system. And then I can go to System Info, which is the old way to do things, and into, ooh, not Device Manager. I can go into Remote, doesn't make any difference. Go to Computer Name, Change, and I could add, uh, join it to whatever domain I wanted. If that's what I wanted to do, if I just wanted to get on the machine, well, I'm already on it. There we are. And I'm not only on, I'm on as an administrator. So I can go into the C drive here, and I can get access to everybody's stuff. So I can go to C, Users, into X. It's going to say, hey, you need to be admin. Yeah, I am. There we go. I have access to everything. And while we have you here, if you're interested in what you just watched, you most likely are interested in Microsoft Azure. Um, and as a result, we created a 50 minute long course uh, that I've broken into six parts on how to build a lab inside of Azure. And it, it gives you a complete walkthrough of uh, how to get a free account with Azure, get a $200 credit with Azure, um, and uh, set up a Windows uh, 2019 uh, server domain controller, Windows 10 PC, uh, Bastion, which is a, a remote tool, uh, tighten up the firewall, goes over resizing, goes over the scaling, uh, and the whole thing's in 50 minutes. So uh, we called it the uh, Azure Bootcamp. Uh, and if you're interested in that, uh, well, just surf on over to www.urtech.ca and uh, look for uh, this, which is the Learn Microsoft Azure in One Hour Bootcamp. You can just do a search for it right here. And uh, you'll see here, it's quite short. So this is a little two minute introduction that explains how to get an account. If you already have a Microsoft account, just skip it. Uh, and then, uh, you know, how to install uh, the server uh, 2019 and make it a domain controller. Um, 
Bastion and Firewall, DNS, DHCP. Now this is really a big deal. Don't screw this up. So you really need to pay attention to this one. Um, Windows 10 and of course the auto shutdown, resizing, things like that. And that's it. Um, yeah, so uh, if you have any questions or concerns, please get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Thank you. Bye-bye.